Well, if he wanted us to bring our submarine, it probably has something to do with Lake Baikal. Welcome to Siberia, my friend. Your email sounded so mysterious. Igor's mysterious. Remember when we met him on the Trans-Siberian train? We thought he was a spy. Strange things have been happening here at Lake Bekal. Well, it is different than other lakes. It's the oldest, largest, and deepest lake in the world. Most of its fish aren't anywhere else on Earth. Do not forget, it is the only lake with seals. <laughs> but lately, people are seeing strange lights and giant lake monsters. Really? There, the light! To the submarine! Oh my gosh! This is the clearest water I've ever seen! You can see 40 meters into the water. It has the clearest water of any lake. It's so clear, even the fish are clear. It is Kolomianka. It only lives in Lake Baikal. If it leaves the water, it melts in the sun. <laughs> Mango, dive! <laughs> Your submarine is very fast. Oh no! That light's heading right for those seals! Phew! That was close! It just missed them! Hmm. The seals were not afraid. They were smiling like it's game. You know, the light got out of our way too. And if the seals are playing... It is coming at us again! <laughs> what do we do, Annie? Nothing. Stay right where we are. Huh? Trust me, you'll see. I hope you are right. A lot. Take cover! Uh, Mango, you can let go. It stopped. I figured if the seals weren't afraid, why should we be? Meep, 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 meep. Ellen! This alien is Fred. Woof, woof. Oh, yeah. We played tag with Alan and his friend Betty on the moon. By any chance, is Betty a giant monster? Yeah. Hey, I'll bet Betty is the giant lake monster people have been seeing. Are you guys playing tag in the lake? Me, 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 me. You know what he's saying, don't you? Nope. But Mango does. And I know what Mango says. You are a very strange group, but I like that. They're playing tag all right. Alan's it, but Betty's hiding really good. Alan's been looking for her for a week. That's when people started seeing the lights in the lake monster. Alan doesn't know where Betty is. Me, 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 me. And Alan says, You're it, Igor. No, no, Annie is. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna be here all day if we start this. We need to find Betty. <laughs> It's been hours! That Betty sure can hide. Hey, why don't I ask the seals if they've seen her? Good idea, Ben. 
Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> they say they haven't seen Betty, but I don't know. <laughs> they all seem to think something's funny. I don't get it. Igor, are there a lot of blue islands in Lake Baikal? Niet. In fact, I don't remember seeing this particular island before this week. Tag! You're it, Betty! She was hiding in plain sight! Alan's back! Me, 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 me. I don't think this game is over. I know I will never forget this, but so you never forget this, I have for you a souvenir. What a beautiful blue rock! I found it here at Lake Baikal, but astronauts also found rocks just like this on the moon. It is called Appetite. I'm glad you didn't give that to me. Why is that, Ben? Because after spending all day chasing aliens, I already have a huge appetite. I'm real hungry. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, Ben, you yeah, too. Yeah. Get it? Appetite's a rock, and it sounds like appetite. Like, I'm hungry. Get it? Yes, yes, pl please. The found city of Atlantis. I'm not so sure about this, Annie. When Mango drives, you never know where you're going to end up. I know. It's always a surprise. I love surprises. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that's over. Wow. It's like a giant Beautiful aquarium! Do you see? I sure do! Oh, oh, a mermaid! And a dogfish! Let's go, guys! I've always wanted to meet a mermaid! Okay, you don't have to go. I know, a captain never leaves his ship. Hello, hello! We're Annie! And Ben! I've heard of mermaids, but I never thought I'd meet one. I've heard of humans, but I never thought I'd meet one. <laughs> I'm Serena, Annie. Roo, roo, roo. This is Finn. He wants to go and chase catfish. Can we? It's okay with me, if it's okay with Serena. Let's go! Oh yeah, this is Mango. Sorry, I mean Captain Mango. Very nice to meet you, Captain. So, you're a mermaid. Do you, well, live around here? Just over there. Come visit. I'd love to. <laughs> Come on, Ben. We're gonna visit Serena in Finn's town. A town? Underwater? <laughs> what a beautiful place. What's your city called? Atlantis. The lost city of Atlantis? But I read in a book that Atlantis sang underwater thousands of years ago. Oh, we did that ourselves. It was getting crowded up there, and we liked it better down here. So we just found the lost city of Atlantis. Which means now the found city of Atlantis. Cool! It's so pretty. You have lights down here. Yes, 
The globes are filled with plankton, tiny plants that glow in the dark. <sighs> but it's really not enough. We're so deep in the sea, it's dark just a few meters from the light posts. Oh my gosh! What is that? Where's everyone rushing to? We have to get out of here. Is there something wrong? The siren. It means... What's that? It's a giant squid! This way! Does this happen often? Too often. He tears up the street lights and he's so big we can't stop him. Lights? That's all he does is tear up street lights? I think I know why he's here. You do? Captain Mango, I need you to perform a brave deed. Oh. Yes, I need you to turn on all the submarine lights and drive to the squid. Don't be afraid, Mango. You have to trust Annie. And I'll go with you. It's Captain Mango! On the job! Aren't you worried about them? No, the giant squid won't hurt them. Watch. <laughs> Well done, Captain! Hello? He's not a bad squid at all. I read in a book that squids like lights. That's why he pulls up your light poles. Well, your idea gives me an idea. All done, Mango. Your turn. That's squid talk for thank you. Oh, my gosh. The lights in the squid are lighting your entire city. It's just like what you wanted. This is so wonderful. Instead of a problem, the city has a new friend. The squid is going to stay. He's our official central light. This was so much fun. We're going to miss you and Finn, Serena. We'll miss you too. But here's something special so you won't ever forget us. <laughs> Oh, Serena! A glitter globe of Atlantis! It's so beautiful! Thank you! Goodbye! It was fun meeting you! Huh! A giant squid with a light necklace! Now that was a bright idea! Oh, Ben! Bad joke! The greatest white shark. We haven't seen you since we met in Atlantis. I couldn't believe it when we saw you here in Chile's Nas Cadiz Venturadas Marine Park. This is the only park on Earth that protects fish and water wildlife. My family loves to vacation here. It's like a wild animal park, only underwater. How cool is that? Very cool, Annie! Yeah. Look! Penguins! Uh, Annie? Those fish don't look too happy. That swordfish was scared. Don't worry, Ben. This is a protected sea life park. There's nothing scary here. <gasps> hey, Serena! Serena! Behind you! Behind you. Look around! Great! Great. 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 Oh no, not again. Let's go, Roland. Wait, halt, stop! Hey, 
That fish can talk. There's been a huge misunderstanding. You've got to get out of here. There's a great white shark. No kidding. That's my buddy Roland. I'm Jim, his pilot fish. Pilot fish are fish that swim with sharks. So he's stopping us so his giant pal Roland can eat us? No, 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 no. You guys don't have to be afraid. Roland isn't going to eat you. Heck, no shark likes the taste of people. They just don't see so well. And that means they got a taste to see if it's human or not. However, Roland and myself are proud to say we're vegetarians. We only eat plants. But he opened his mouth like he was going to eat me. He was smiling. Just being friendly. Give him a smile, Roland. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Hang on, pal. You've got something in your teeth. Pilot fish clean the teeth on sharks. They're like underwater dentists. Exactly. That brilliant smile is courtesy of me. Uh, that smile is pretty big and scary looking. Yeah, and Roland's sort of humongous. All true. But how do you make friends? Oh, we know he's big. Big shark, big smile. Well, I know a really good way to make friends. We'll have a party. Hey, Roland always wanted to go to a party. Hey, hey, Roland, you finally got your wish. You're gonna be a party shark. Okay, we have a lot to do. Ben and Finn, you both speak fish, so you need to spread the word about the party. You guys get the snacks. Seaweed, plankton. Uh, sea grapes? We love sea grapes. They're delicious. Okay, get sea grapes. Don't worry, Roland. You're gonna help me and Serena with the games. I know he's happy. But those teeth. Big shark, big smile. Okay, he's big, but he's nice, like you. I know he'd like to meet somebody his own size. So you want to come to the party? Sea grapes. Everybody loves sea grapes. Hey, come to our party. Meet a nice shark. Oh, Roland's hat? Uh, no, that, that's because he's Australian. We travel a lot. Oh, me too. It's kind of different with sharks, though. They've got to travel. Their lives depend on it. Uh -huh. Yeah. You see, a fish like me can flap its gills and push water through. That's how I breathe. But sharks can't flap. So they've got to keep moving and make the water go through their gills. Uh -huh. Yeah, and he never sleeps either. Sharks are fascinating. Ready to meet your new friends, Roland? Welcome, everyone. We're so glad you could come. We'd like to introduce you to the nicest, greatest, White shark in all the seven seas! Roland! Well, <laughs> that's not good. How lovely! Roland's making friends! likes a hero. Have a safe trip home. 
Hey, not so fast. Me and Roland have a little something to remember us by. Roland lost a tooth today. Happens a lot with sharks. Anyway, we want you to have it as a souvenir. Wow, Roland is a great guy. And that's the tooth. Oh, Ben, bad joke. Oh, that was such a bad joke. Uh, oh, no, no that, that's terrible. Please don't quit your day job. Get it? Tooth? Truth? That's the tooth. That's the truth? Yeah, no, no, no. It's still not good. I understand. It's just not good. Surfing Sam. <laughs> Mango says we're close. Wow, this is it! Ellis Beach! And we're the only ones here! I thought there'd be other people, or dogs. Or monkeys from the jungle. They don't have monkeys in Australian jungles, Mango. Monkeys in Australia are like you. Tourists. No people, no dogs, and no monkeys. Kind of weird for a nice beach like this. Wahoo! <laughs> Oh my goodness! What's coming out of the jungle? All I know is it's not a monkey, but it sounds big. Surf's up! Look yeah. out! I'm catching a wave and I'm never letting go. Kangaroo! Surfing kangaroo! <laughs> Mango wants to know if she catches the wave, what's she going to do with it? That! Don't cut me short, I'm riding a big one! Goofy foot! Annie, what's up? In surfing, a goofy foot is your right foot. Wow, she's so good! Nobody hangs ten like surfing Sam! Whoa, nearly wiped out. Call the tower, I'm coming in for a landing! Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I am that good. What? Oh. Bravo! Wonderful! Very cool! G'day, I'm Sam. Samantha Roo. Who are you? I'm Annie. This is Ben, my dog, and that's Mango. You're a great surfer. Thanks, mate. But where is everybody today? I think we're everybody today. <laughs> It's a flag with a shark on it. It explains everything. Can't surf when there's a shark out there. Yep, there he is. Moving about like he's waiting for his lunch. Speaking of lunch, care to join me? Why? Are you coming apart? Oh, Ben, bad joke. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I ever heard. Brilliant, mate. <laughs> Why, are you coming to power? I like her. She <laughs>, laughs at my jokes. Well, I'm not coming to power, but this sandwich is one part for each of us. My dream has been to surf every great beach in the world. What stopped you? Look at all that water I'd have to cross. I can't fly. I can't take a boat. Why not? It takes money to travel the world. I'm a kangaroo. We don't have money. What on earth is that? That's my didgeridoo. Have a listen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Looks like we're not the only ones who like your music. Oh dear, the shark! That shark's never gonna go away. It's probably hungry. If we could feed it, it might go away. You think it's got a hankering for a tuna? Well, if it doesn't, I do. It's so big. How are we gonna get it out to the shark? <laughs> No, we can't take it out on the surfboard. That's a bad idea. Hmm, we need something to launch it way out into the water. As far away from the beach as possible. 
How about a slingshot? Is there anything you don't have in your pouch? Well, I'm pretty sure I don't have any shark repellent. <laughs> to the left a little. A little more. Load the fish! Fire the fish! Brilliant! It's a bullseye! Or a shark's eye, I guess. It would be if it was a shark, but it's not a shark. What? what? But what about the fin? Both sharks and dolphins have fins on their backs, but you need to look at their tails. A shark's tail goes up and down, but a dolphin's tail is flat. Whoever put the shark flag up made the same mistake we did. <laughs> Can you understand him, Ben? Sure. His name's Dan. He's a fan of yours, Sam. A Sam fan. He swam here just to watch you surf. I have fans? <laughs> Dan says he swims all over the world to watch great surfers. That's Sam's dream, to surf all over the world. <laughs> Dan says he's going to Hawaii next, and he wants to know if you'd like to hitch a ride. Are you kidding? Let's go, Dan! Thanks, mate. You've all been such good company. I want you to keep my didgeridoo as a souvenir. Goodbye, Sam. Goodbye, Dan. Good luck in Hawaii. Well, that worked out great. You mean the Sam Fan Dan plan? Oh, Ben, bad joke. Hey, Sam laughed at all my jokes. I just lost the Ben Fan Sam to Sam Fan Dan. <laughs> I agree, Mango. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, oh! 